Here is how to make an amazing profile picture with Canva, and you can click the link in the description to try Canva for free or simply use it for easier login access. So I have two things here, the image that I wanna use, and I just have my logo here because I'm gonna get some inspiration from the colors that I can utilize in the background overall. First things first, let's click on elements here. And what you wanna do is type in frame. You can see it's actually recently used for me, but what we want are gonna be these circle frames. So let's not only click it once, but let's click it twice. So you're gonna see like one is kinda of gonna be over the other one. What we wanna do is click the one in the back, and what we're gonna do from there is click on the color we wanna use. Keep in mind, this is gonna be the color that's gonna be behind our profile picture, okay? So I'm gonna click here. And once again, the reason why I had that logo there because now I can get some colors directly from it. I'm gonna go with green here, looks good. And upon doing so, I'm just gonna drag the other circle right over the top perfectly. So let's get it right there. And you can see it's gonna be perfect because we have the vertical and horizontal lines telling us that it's going to be centered, perfect. Okay, so now we have our image and keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to use the background remover for this. This is a Canva Pro feature. However, it's probably one of the best and probably the feature that I use the most for Canva Pro. Canva Pro comes with a free trial, so you can still always follow along for free with me. So let's click on this. It's gonna take a second, pretty much done, okay? Not a whole lot there. Now what we wanna do since that is going to be remove the background, let's duplicate it so I can right click right here and do duplicate. What I'm gonna do is take the image here, I'm just gonna use the one that I first did and drag it right on in here and let go. You're gonna notice the head might be cut off a little, which is perfectly fine, because if it does that, we can actually make a 3D image out of it. If it's gonna be a little bit lower, that's completely fine as well, not a big deal. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna click on this image and we wanna lock it. So we're gonna click lock position only, and upon doing so, let's click right here on lock. Upon doing so, that means we can't move any of this right here. It's gonna be in the position, that's perfectly fine. We can move around this, which is what we wanna do next. So let's go over here and let's kind of move it over. Now you just have to eyeball it a little. You're gonna notice that the image in back is a little bit bigger. So let's drag it to try and make it like perfectly overlap. Now you're not gonna get it perfect on the first try. This looks a little bit bigger, so let's make it smaller. And once you click on it, you can actually use your arrows to kind of nudge it a little. So I'm just going over this way, let's move it up. And that doesn't look too bad. We can always change it around a little bit after, okay? Looks good, perfect. So now what we wanna do is we wanna, we still have this picture clicked right here. Let's go to the bottom right here and click and hold and drag this up. And we're gonna see if we can really kind of match it up. So it's, how does it look on the, on the left doesn't look too bad. Let's see on the right isn't too bad either. Okay, so we can do that. You're gonna notice there's gonna be a little bit cut off there, that's fine, so we can nudge it to the right. And there's maybe a little bit on the left, so we could make it slightly smaller. Let's look at there. And that's not too bad, right? There's like a little blip there, but I think that looks pretty good. It doesn't look like I have, actually is that, let's see, let's move it to the left. There we go, I'm just matching it up a little bit better. And I can say it's 100% perfect, but I think that looks pretty good if you ask me. So now what we wanna do is click on the original here and we wanna unlock this right there. From there, what we can do is just drag our mouse and highlight all of this and we can group it. So all of this is now gonna be one. Perfect, so not a whole lot left to do, but we can add a nice little circle or that can go around this. So what we wanna do here, we can just type in a circle, let's add a shape, and this is gonna be perfectly fine. Is move this. Okay, now we, what I wanna do is utilize some of my other brand colors. So I can click on this here, we can change the color. So something with green, I think more of like this color could work very well, we could also use something a little bit darker. Now what we wanna do is just make it a little bit more bigger than what we have. So something like that is fine and we can right click on it. We, we can do layer and then we could do send to back. If you're gonna notice, now we have a nice little circle that we have that obviously is gonna give us that pop when it comes to our profile picture. So we can also change it around once again, like if we want to use something darker, uh, that kind of almost blends into my shirt. So I don't like that one as much, but if I wanted to go with more of the color, I think that one looks perfectly fine. And just like that, we have made it a great profile picture. Not only does it feature, say, some of our brand colors, but it's a little bit of a 3D effect where we can actually pop through our profile picture and go from there. This can also be deleted as well. And the great thing about if you do have Canva Pro, when you go to save it, you can click on share, you can do download, and most importantly,
importantly, we have our PNG and we can have our transparent background. That means when we save it, we can pretty much drag and drop this anywhere and we can have that transparent background so it'll look, it will look perfect if you put it, say, just on a white website or anywhere you want it to go. Nevertheless, you would just click on download and you would be good to go. And that's how you're gonna make amazing profile picture with Canva. If you got any value out of this, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And if you made it to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a link for a free gift in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business, if that's what you're into, of course. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.